Hi everyone. Today we're going to talk about setting up the WaveSurfer 3000 to capture a waveform and do some general analysis. First, set the horizontal and vertical controls to scale the grid appropriately for the waveform being acquired. Horizontal controls are used to position and scale the waveforms horizontally on the oscilloscope. Change the time per division by rotating the horizontal front panel control knob, or by selecting the time-based dialog using the oscilloscope touchscreen. Horizontal delay can be set by turning the delay front panel control knob, or by using the delay controls in the time-based dialog. Vertical scaling is used to position and scale the waveform vertically on the oscilloscope. The bulb per division setting can be changed by selecting the channel of interest and then rotating the vertical front panel control knob. It can also be changed directly from the dialog box of the channel setup by selecting the descriptor box of the channel of interest using the oscilloscope touchscreen. Vertical offset can be set by turning the offset front panel control knob, or by using the offset controls in the channel dialog box. The next step is to set up the appropriate trigger that will allow you to capture the waveform. The trigger controls allow you to stabilize repeating waveforms on the display or to capture single shot waveforms. The front panel control contains six different controls for setting up the trigger. The level knob, auto button, normal button, single button, stop button, and setup button. Here, we will set up the trigger as an edge type by pressing the setup button on the trigger front panel. Next, adjust the level knob until the desired trigger threshold level is displayed. To acquire a single acquisition, push the single button. In this mode, the oscilloscope is armed to trigger once when the input meets the trigger conditions. Now, let's set up some measurement and math functions to do some analysis on the acquired waveform. The WaveSurfer 3000 allows the user to display up to six parameters at once. The measurement parameters are set up from the measure dropdown at the top of the display. Enable the show table checkbox and set up each of the six parameters as necessary by selecting the corresponding parameter selection. Each parameter setup allows the user to select a source and measure type. Gating is also available to isolate measurements to only certain portions of the display. Statistics and histicons can be turned on for all parameters from the main measure setup dialog. Waveform math can be set up by selecting math, math setup from the drop down menu. The WaveSurfer 3000 allows you to set up up to two math channels. Here we will set up an FFT with our acquired waveform as the source. Select the F1 tab and then change the operator to FFT by pressing the touchscreen and scrolling through the math operators. Lastly, we will set up a zoom on the source waveform. The zoom function magnifies the selected region of the specified source trace. To turn on a quick zoom, touch the zoom front panel control button. Once activated, you can adjust the scale of the zoom using the horizontal front panel controls, or by modifying the settings in the zoom dialog. The zoom can also be turned on directly from a trace dialog. To do this, touch the descriptor box of the desired source trace. Then, touch the zoom shortcut button in the trace dialog. To create a precise zoom, touch and drag to draw a selection box around any part of the source waveform. You can then get an even closer look by drawing another selection box on the zoom trace. To turn off all active zooms, simply press the zoom front panel control button. 